What up? What up? Welcome to another episode of the Soyuji Podcast. My name is The Myth, Mr. Soyuji. And right now, with me, I have people who like disturbing the peace. <laughs> Zagag, I, they didn't even deny it. They're like, mm, accurate, <laughs> accurate. Gentlemen, what's going on, man? Please introduce yourselves yeah. individually. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm Kavali King, representing the gang, artist and producer. There you go. I'm Noon Man from the gang, artist representing myself. <laughs> yeah. I'm Levi, artist, producer. Engineer, <laughs> uh, Jesse Kingi, medical student, rapper, hip hop artist, really <laughs> Okay, yeah. okay. So that's why you guys are teasing him about his outfit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it makes sense. I, I thought he was wearing the pharmacy yeah. thing from Style Speed, like the. Uh. Yeah, that's why I thought he was wearing. <laughs> nah, man. Really medical nice. students, yeah. I'll be in there. So as a medical student, how do you juggle? How do you juggle? I have to ask it. It's, yeah. it's right there. How do you juggle like music? You're saying you're a realist. How do you juggle that with the demands of what comes with music? Um, which is a lot. To be to be honest, it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, I won't lie to you. It's, it's yeah. not it's not easy at all. Yeah, but music is therapy, and the fact is, I would be incomplete without it. Mm-hmm. That's true. Like, I've had instances where, you know, like, like, all right, I'm going to sit back. I'm not going to make any music. I'm going to, you know, just go through the motions. Yeah. But when I'm not writing, my brain is screaming, bro, make something. Yeah. Make something. Yeah. And I make music for me, really, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Like, I could do it for a lot of reasons, but when I look at it, if I didn't have everything else... I would make music for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But why are you a battle rapper? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, 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 that comes from high school. You know, everybody gets introduced to hip-hop somewhere. So, yeah. so here's a Form 1 kid. Yeah. Um, now, you're sent to boarding school. This is your first time. Yeah. Which, which school? Ah. <laughs> Chitende, Chitende, hey, Saint Mary's, hey. those ones, the rebels, those ones, the Mospit guys. So, <laughs> life suddenly becomes a bit real, mm-hmm. just a little bit real. So you're like, ah, oh, damn. And now, uh, this is the, this is the time where like your mom says, don't watch those, those naked girls on screen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so right. you're like, oh mm-hmm. my god, why, why not? So EATV, that's EATV, uh, East Africa TV. Remember that all these things happening and then what you want what's forbidden so i sit down i'm watching this stuff and then i hear lil way mm-hmm. i'm like what is this <laughs> and now eatv had the reputation for playing uh east african hip-hop a lot of the time so i'm hearing calligraph jones for the first time then mm-hmm. i hear clear cut mm-hmm. then i'm hearing all these all these guys i'm like we have this i mm-hmm. want to do this Mm. So obviously it starts simple. I start rhyming here, there, and so on. And then we start battling. Whenever I go to school, because that's when I have people to battle with, <laughs> start battling behind the dorm. It's the, the way most people get into it, that's how I got into it. Yeah. Like people are battling, you come. Now, this is a form, form, form two kid, senior two, battling form three guys and beating them. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was so proud of myself. <laughs> 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 they did not they did not like me <laughs> they, they, like they, me. they can't they can't so how does individually how do you all start how did you start okay. how did how did all of you get into we ever heard how he got into it yeah how did you get into it he's those naked women 
<laughs> then, okay. Ultimately, because mom is like, yo, stay away from the naked women. He's like, <laughs> I want to know. So, My story is... And, and yours, is, yours is different because you said engineer and all this type of stuff. So, yeah. yeah. But my story and his are, are linked. Okay. Yeah, so I used to watch them battle and stuff. Oh. Yeah, I used to be in the crowd. <laughs> oh, okay. He's hype man and stuff. What? Yeah. Now you're his engineer. <laughs> no. Talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so as I used to watch them, yeah. it also encouraged me to write my own bars. Yeah. So he's a real assist. Yeah. What are you? You uh, can I be honest? Yeah. He looks like he's the rebel in the group. <laughs> he looks like he's up to no good every day. Nah, Mune is just bare hilarious. Oh, yes, up to no good. <laughs> Always. Always. Look, after <laughs> being a real assist is hard to say because I live in a dream. Uh -huh. I'm kind of living the dream because I never thought I'd be in like a big rap group yeah. or have like even something. I just thought music was hey. So yeah. when I started, I was like, let me just be the best. Yeah. I wasn't the best. <laughs> <laughs> but I tried. I tried. Because whatever I wanted to do music was for like the hottest chick in school. Yeah. So, uh, shout out to Maryland. Uh, <laughs> That's Billy Jerry. I hate you guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, he's the one who hates you on the podcast. <laughs> podcast, we love you all. <laughs> Maryland, we fucks with you all. <laughs> mm, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Women were taking me. Because, man, they look so Love nice. it. But yeah. I soon after learned, it's not about the women all the time. Yeah. So I started perfecting battle rap. Yeah. Needless to say, I failed. <laughs> but I tried, then I got better. <laughs> then me and Cavalli used to battle like within a song, you hear bars that really knock at each other. And yeah. Like, hey. Then you, you got to like perfect somehow. Cause yeah. It's very similar. I watch EATV. Yeah. Back then it was like small box TV and stuff. Yeah. 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 Those are the ones. <laughs> With, with the whole back at the end. Cartoon, cartoons <laughs> at 4 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the vibes. Man, it has magnets inside. So I don't know, but... <laughs> but, yeah, you watch stuff, you want to be some stuff. Now, yeah. I also watch Lil Wayne. Remember the song? It was with Meek Mill. I watched it. Yeah. I was like, hey, these guys look kind of cool. I tried on those clothes. I didn't look cool. Yeah. <laughs> but... I improved my swagger. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and then how do you get into uh, into music? Coming from like home yeah. as a kid, yeah. I used to listen to what my brothers listened to. Now, my mm. brothers, the firstborn used to listen to a lot of Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Second guy was a Chris Brown, Neo guy. It was mm -hmm. all yeah. R&B. R&B, yeah. Yeah, that was the energy. Yeah. And I was looking not the one. Yeah. Like, so the first time I had two pack. Yeah. Oof. I was like, what's this shit? Yeah. Because it was different. When I had the first song I had of two pack was Hit Em Up. Yeah, oh wow. Imagine. Very violent <laughs> energy. Yes. Oh, Very wow. violent energy. Wow. Yeah. I was like, what is this? Yeah. This is different. And then going through high school, this is what connected us. Yeah. It was also me as a battle rap, but that's how I I linked, that's how we all linked. Yeah. And that was later on in Chitende. Yeah. Right. So wait, all you guys are like same school yeah. and then further down the road you become a clique. Yeah. I joined them in A level though, but yeah. Yeah. I'd I'd, I'd, left, I'd left this but guy had left. Oh wow. But he'd had, had about me. Like, yeah. Like so these guys, the best battle rap. So, so, so I'm actually chilling. Before, uh, I get, we get, we do, we get done with what senior six. Yeah. Then my my friends would stay in Chitende. Go like, bro, there's this new guy. <laughs> He's called Cavalli King. Have you had him, bro? I wish you and him would battle. <laughs> wow. That's. Weird. I'm like, people just like violence. <laughs> That's weird. That's how Navi and I started. The first day we met, we battled in the club. In the club. Rapping in each other's ears. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> like it's so weird. I don't know why that's how hip hop starts. But then, okay. So how does how does that go from you guys battling, you guys inspiring each other, to now you guys becoming a gang? It's a gang. Yeah. How does that happen? 
Uh, it took us. It took a while. But yeah, because you also had individual careers, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, everybody was yeah. on their own still. Yeah. But we'd work together, low key, low key. Yeah. We'd like collab and every day. Yeah. But then uh, we just did the math, you know, like why not work together? Because yeah. once you think about studio time, once you think about you know the the backgrounds, the fans. Yeah. If you have fans this side, I have fans that side. You dig? If we bring them all in one place. So we just wanted to cover more ground. Yeah. And then also personally, yeah, we all felt like we have the same vision, so yeah. that's how it happened. I saw I saw um I have whenever I do this this podcast, I I, I watch I s- s- learn about people. Yeah. And I saw your post, was it I don't know which New Year's it was, twenty nineteen? The video where you where you come out and you say what you just said where you talk it to urban acts. Oh yeah. yeah. Urban hip hop acts, yeah, yeah. urban acts, hip hop acts, and you say, hey. The media is not supporting us. Um, fucking co- the promoters are not supporting us. Yeah. The sponsors are not supporting. How about we come together and become one huge movement that is undeniable? Yeah. Um, what led you to do that? And and I mean, cause it's New Year's, man. You could hear girls giggling in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, this guy just stopped the party and be like, yo. <laughs> I gotta tell y'all something. I gotta, I gotta speak for man. <laughs> you know, yeah. So what 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 led to that? Because usually, like, when, when artists get there, it's, yo, something has pissed you off. Yeah. And you're just like, yo, fam, let's just knock this thing out on our own. True, true, so true. W- what was that about? <sighs> for me, it was... Uh, I came to a realization where I knew that there were guys who came before me yeah. and still didn't get where they wanted to get. Yeah. You know, in the, as an artist, the energy you come with in the beginning is that, uh, is that let me just make music, let me be number one. It's pure energy. It's the purest, yeah. It's, it's, pure it's, it's energy. how it is. Yeah. You don't think about less link now. Nah. You're like, yeah. I have to be the best, I have to be the best. But then when I thought about it, there are lots of guys running in their lanes, they're dope, they're dope, but the fact is, the population of Uganda is what, 40 million, mm. you dig? If all of us have like 1K fans, 1K fans, all separated. But the fact is, our fans are still connected to each other regardless, mm-hmm. you dig? Your fans will be like, oh my guy is the hardest, Jesse is the hardest. Then yeah. my fans will be like, Cavani is the hardest. Yeah. Yeah. And when you think about it, cause I think that was the time I was going for gigs. Yeah. So I'd go for a gig, this guy is there, that guy is there, we've all come through people people mm-hmm. people and that's what made the whole crowd bigger yeah, so yeah. it just made more sense that why not because the fact was yeah there's no support there's no one coming when you think about it so we have to like build the entire thing from the ground up yeah. and to do that we have to be together to be together you know you know it's funny like me when i when we started we were like yo there's no support Oh, you guys had it rough, though. You guys were like, number one. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. We had, we had no support. So, so for me, when, you, when, I hear, when I hear that discussion from, from the New York Acts, you guys, I'm always confused. I'm like, what type, of support, what type of support do you want to happen? Because for us, you have to understand, radio wasn't playing us. Yeah. Television mm. didn't even want to know. Um, even videographers didn't even um, know what to do with yeah, what am I going to do with this hip hop like, video yeah, no you know so for us it was like it was wild like shows yeah. come on but we did have what we did have was we did have a spot where every Friday we would go Friday Saturdays which was DVA um, we would go people would rap people would sing people would whatever so we did have that place yeah um, and that's where a lot of us you know, so got the momentum going from, but you guys, in my head, I'm just like, yo, you have social media, we didn't, <laughs> yeah. there's nothing, yeah. the newspapers weren't caring, you know, so what type of support are you talking about when you say, hey, mm-hmm. listen, we need some support, we need to come together, like, what is it, what is it that you guys Personally, want? yeah, personally for me, yeah, me, I, I decided to fight it the hard way, do it like on every angle, not just internet, even on the ground. Yeah. So now going to TVs, going to radios, going everywhere, people coming to me still, yeah. and everybody. I remember going to studios. I went to like every studio I could yeah. in my first year, and every studio I went to, everyone was like, "Yo, you dope." Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You can change your genre, do dance, do. <coughs> yeah. That was the same thing everywhere when it came to 
record companies, radio, TV, everybody. Yeah, is, they're telling was, you to change your style. Yeah, yeah. 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 I feel like rap definitely is not gonna work. Yeah. And you can't blame them. That's why this whole urban music has to pop up first before, because rap is under urban music. Yeah. Yes, basically. It makes Afro beats and hip hop. Yeah, yeah, but 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 let me ask. Like, if we're, if we're saying, do you believe when they say? Rap is not going to work. Do you guys believe that? No. That's no. That's why I was okay. still here. Because I, 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 yeah. the reason I asked that question is, especially with you guys starting 2016 and everything, yeah. you look at the success mm-hmm. stories from from Keko to Trill to The Constant, The Navia, The Moonjis, The GNLs. You see these stories and in my head I'm like, you can't. someone can't tell you it's not working when you see the guys... Yeah. 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 They're, They're doing the thing. thing. Well, the yeah. thing is, when they fight you, like, yeah, yeah. When you come through, you put your music here, and then six other guys who are doing the other genre. Yeah, yeah. They will pass. Through. Yeah, and that's that's the bad. That's the trick. Yeah. That's the do you do you think do you think it's 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 um it's that or do you think it's it's payola, someone paying to be played? It's a bit of both, yeah. but more on the other side, more on the bias. You think so? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, I've been to places where. Straight up, there's no money, no. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, yeah. People it's just target like, marketing. Yeah. yeah. And now they always associate this rap music with like uh, rich kids or stuff. Mm-hmm. They always feel like you guys are done with money, you should. You should pay. Yeah. 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 So, Do they know how many of our problems are telling us know. to stop? <laughs> but that's the bias. Yeah. That we have to so, so, as the gang, you guys, you guys off camera were telling me you have, the gang is, it is a it's, it's a click, but then it's now feeling like a, a collective because you have you have producers, you have videographers, you have all this type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you feel like that's the way to go? Where you guys, because you guys are, have grown up in this in this era where you you you're very connected to social media, to the technology, you understand it better. You yeah. you have the cameras, you have the phones. This guy here, Musa over there, was showing me. He's like, we need to take pictures of you, three pictures, then we do. He's telling me about TikTok. I'm like, man, I don't know about, I don't know about to be on TikTok. <laughs> you know what he's like, no, you got to do it, you got to do it. But you guys have grown up and you, you're understanding uh, these things more. Do you feel like um, that's the way to go, where where you buck the system and you say, yo, forget, forget, forget traditional media I, I, I'm, I'm against people forgetting about traditional media but then oh. you guys like forget traditional media let's use YouTube let's use Oof. shooting platforms and shoot this shit is that is that the way forward for you do you think the way yeah, yeah Very, because in our era right now yeah. that is that's what's happening that's yeah. what's working like labels are really going under yeah. because yeah. of the internet the internet is changing everything yeah. yeah so running independent right now is not too bad because back then to distribute your music, that was a whole thing. Yeah, yeah totally, man. Mm-hmm. I feel like to push it on your own, that was an ass story. Yeah. yeah. But right now, if you have the internet, just fix. Let's go. And it's out. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, out. Um, it's a very complex question. I won't lie to you, because um, you know, it depends on on the person themselves. Mm-hmm. Is the artist comfortable doing this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Am I going to be happy after I've done this? Mm-hmm. You know. Am I, should I should I have to do an OnlyFans? Should I have to do this? Should I have mm-hmm. to do that? Should I have to should I have to look good for this picture? Should I have to look? You, you get yeah. what I'm saying. So you start getting sucked into a couple of things that you don't, and that's where now we start looking at the industry is dirty. Yeah, you know we're going to all these other things and so on. But definitely, I totally understand if you know how to use social media, if you know how to use the internet. And you know that this is going to get you buzz. Mm-hmm. You see, you see the OnlyFans thing. I saw something the other day. <laughs> no, I said, no, come down. <laughs> come down. I saw something. This is actually weird. I saw something the other day. Uh, Maurice Kiria has an OnlyFans. Uh-huh. Right? No, cu- yo, you gotta relax. Bro. <laughs> the <laughs> hardest guy. No, but the thing about the hardest guy OnlyFans. <laughs> No. That's, that's a bad joke. Man. Yeah, it's a terrible <laughs> joke right now. You're a better rapper, like, Pause. come on, connect the dots. Yeah. <laughs> so, with with the OnlyFans, what he does is he, he has people, he creates content of him in studio um, and creating the songs, writing the songs, the processes, and all this type of stuff. I feel like 
every platform should be used as best as it, for your brand. Yeah. Like it, it, it's not that if you're on OnlyFans, you go and get Tiger. <laughs> no, not Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. but yeah, totally, I get it. Yeah, you get, yeah. it. and I will be like, yeah. So you say so. I think today the artists are more knowledgeable yes. than before. So yeah. They have more options, so the way out, yeah, which, yeah, which way way. to go. That's what, that's why I'm saying. Like, it, it, when you guys say it's hard, I'm like, fam, you guys need to understand when. So we have an album coming out. Uh, we, actually, no, we were just rapping, and uh, Dao, D and D, and they they say, hey guys, you guys have something more, and we go from just rapping on other people's beats to now we're creating an album we don't know what an album is we would rap for as long as we wanted to rap for and now it's like yeah so streamlined but we don't know how this album is getting distributed where how how where? who is going to buy this who? yeah we don't know anything we yeah. literally we were just like fresh into the thing like you know and you get there and Yes, you get support, but w- w- when you tell, when you say uh, the Luganda situation for us, it wasn't, it wasn't even Luganda. They were just like, yo, rap as a whole. Yeah, yeah we don't care. Yeah. We don't want to. I'm like, you just played Jay Z, my guy. You know, oh, yeah. so you guys are still facing this, this type of situation. Yeah. So, do you feel like? Um, I feel like there was a time when. Like what Hot 100 did, which when it was oh dedicated to my hip-hop God. music in Uganda, do you feel like do you feel like that? Because they changed their their formula, but do you feel like that formula is needed to this day? You need yeah. stations that are dedicated, dedicated to yeah. the hip hop genre. Do you yeah. feel like that? Yeah, I feel yeah. like that because the other side they have they have stations yeah. dedicated to that. Thing. Yeah. Why not us? But then, but then, so. So it's such a it's such a weird situation with hip hop because with hip hop you have you have hip hop awards yeah you have showcases sponsored by these big brands. What do you feel like? Let's 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 stop talking about um, the other guy. What do you feel like we as the hip hop community, we as the the hip hop acts? What do you feel like we need to do more of to be in these spaces? What are we what what are we failing on, and what do we what should we do more of? Um. Can I say something? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hip hop, people are, people are marketing it to the wrong people, I think. Okay. They're, they're reaching people who are fans of like Wiz Kid and mm. their vibe is different. Yeah. They don't want yeah. to listen to all those words. They just want to hear the beat and the guy's voice sound yeah. like this or like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Thing thing about rap is it's words. It's also emotions. So we need to market emotions more than words, more than terrible things to do to people with a gun, yeah. a knife. We need to like show people that this is not just about killing and violence yeah. or fucking bitches. Some shit <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's so weird that you say this one because you're back for rappers. <laughs> yeah. But but you know what's you know what's funny though, like when I, when you said hot one hundred Yeah. I, I, that was a moment. I was so ecstatic. Cause that was a moment. Like, we used to, you don't understand, we'd be in the club and Mackenzie would hit you up. Mackenzie and Kahuna would hit you up and say, hey, tomorrow, 8 a.m., Yeah. you have to be on radio. Yeah. And they would post it. At that time, fam, you're in the club, it's midnight. They would post it at that time and you look at the post and it's crazy. They say, I have I have the gang in, in, in studio tomorrow, 8 a.m., what are the questions? And in five minutes, it's, 200 questions. Ah, like, but that time it was open. Facebook, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So, so it's like, I feel like that moment, uh, first of all, it was such an important moment, capture it, but I feel like we, we should have more of those moments. Yeah. I feel like that's what's, we need to have more of those moments. Definitely. But then also, like, a lot of people say, like, the people who enjoyed the music in that period say, uh, the music now is completely different. What do you guys... I mean, I even interviewed Kahuna and, and Mackenzie on the podcast and they said, yeah, the music now is a little different. We don't understand it. We don't get it. What do you think is the problem now? It depends It depends on the inspiration. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I like to tell stories sometimes, but I'm not going to make this one long. This is a senior two kid mm-hmm. seated... Uh, I get my first phone. My father gets me my first phone. Mm-hmm. MTN Kaviriti. Mm-hmm. 
there's no space to keep Shit. songs <laughs> nothing mm-hmm. all i've got is the radio mm-hmm. this is the time <clears throat> i've transitioned into i want to listen to hip-hop mm-hmm. but now i cannot keep the songs that i think i've listened to i'm not get get the songs i've listened to on eatv download them yeah, and yeah, put yeah. them on the phone so I'm listening to radio. Do we have a hip hop radio? On time, at the time we have Hot 100. So I'm listening. I'm hearing all these Ugandan hip hop acts, and I'm I, I listen to Natural Selection. I'm mm. listening to yeah, <laughs> AUG, yeah. the Enigma Machine drops. Yeah, yeah. I I I go and he put the link to download it there. I download it. I put it on my PC. I have all these things, and I'm like, this is where it starts. And the transition for me just being a rapper to being a person that wants to be lyrical mm-hmm. started there mm-hmm. because the people that were doing it i wanted to do it like them i want to be and if you listen to the way i rap mm-hmm. you will hear yourselves mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if any of you guys take it take the way i rap you will you will hear yourselves if navio comes if you come if you will hear it yeah. the w- way i got uh, my penchant for punchlines mm-hmm. You know who that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So. For yeah. Right. So you find. <laughs> he's, like, he's googling the word. What does this? <laughs> <mean>? <laughs> so, you, so you so you so you so you find you find like, I totally understand where you came from, and I understand that it needs to continue for us as hip hop people to have yeah. these kind of things going on. Forty two days was so important to us. Yeah. That's why you got to know about the force from yeah. Hot One Hundred was very important to us. Yeah. I don't know if we'll ever have a place where we can just come and listen to hip hop, like a, just a hip hop day, and Ugandan hip hop dedicated, mm-hmm. a Ugandan hip hop dedicated place or day that we can come yeah, and like, yeah, yeah we're going I to think, sit I here. I think the, the, the bits and pieces all over. Yeah. Um, I know RX Radio has has a thing with Mr. Skills. Yeah. Um, I was I was on I had an interview over the weekend, and I know uh, Calvin on Friday he just dedicates it. Uh, mm. Magic to to hip hop, but then but then the, those pl- those places are there. Yeah. But then now with how things are, do you are, are you guys still sitting back and watching uh, watching television? Are you sitting back and listening to radio because now things are a changed. bit different. It's, play, it's playlists. Yeah. It's also are you streaming? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's all stuff. So, That's so, so, so like I, it goes back to the question I asked. I, I, this is becoming too like. <laughs> to in depth, <laughs> I haven't really talked about you guys' music properly. Um, but then, how, how do we? Um, what do we do? Like us as the people doing the music. What? What do we do? What are we doing next? What do you want us to do? What should we do? That's a real philosophical question. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. We're getting, we're getting into it. But you're, you're in dreamland, so go. <laughs> Reality. It's all about adjusting. Yeah. To the market, yeah. to the time. To That's the true. Time. You get. That is very you true. You can't keep doing the same thing when someone or a whole wave left a long time ago. Yeah. You got to adjust to suit the time. Otherwise, you ain't gonna eat. Yeah. yeah. You get. You said the right word. Whole wave. Tell me about this new wave thing that you guys were a part of. Whose idea was that? What is what is it about? Tell the people what that is about. Can, you guys can speak on your right? own. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. I thought I was just telling you. Have to go someone else's. Ah, no, no, no. So what is what is the new wave about? So, if you have been able to see the documentary, you kind of have an idea. Uh, yes. But to those that don't know, um, Cahill has been one of the biggest forces behind the new wave of Ugandan music. Yeah. He's young, he's a young producer, yeah. and he wants to bring his people with him. Yeah. So it's like, you know when someone feels like, I lo- we, we're doing something, but I want to bring it to the forefront. Yeah. So we have uh, a couple of friends of ours, Sa Paradox, he's, um, he's from Botswana. Okay. Yeah. So he is, he's leaving. And then, the, and then Cahill's like, ah, oh, man, you can't leave. We've, we've not really done that much work. We need to put down work. Something before you leave. It's like, this would be the right time to have the ideas that have been cooking in our head yeah. and just do it. Because, yeah. you know, sometimes you have an idea and want to get it rolling. Mm-hmm. And then just snap at once and just, you know what, let's get it done. Yeah. 
Let's go. So Cahill, so will be that guy, that yeah. guy sometimes. He'll be like, you know what? Let's do this. Yeah. So he gets up in the, he gets up. Cahill, wait. He's the one who was disturbing me about you, actually. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, yeah. but then he just keeps dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah, he just keeps mm. disturbing me. <laughs> so he says we like 900. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he's in his mood. The, ma- the man will push the music. What do you need to know about that guy? He will push the music. He will push the music. Yeah, it's much stuff when I had him. Because all of us talk about the same thing. Like, yeah. we, we need to do this. We need to do this. Yeah. And he says, you Fuck. know what? Like, Let's do it. Nowhere, you know? yeah. like, just We've got who, in the middle who of the gets night. the house. Who's. Like how him this, this is like, happening like yo, 24 hours. Yo, yeah. he, like yo guys, wow, I've managed to get this house, blah, 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 this, 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 this. Pull up, pull, pull up. up. Yeah. Get any producer, you know. Guys, send me beats. He calls so all the producers he knows. How many cause you see how many rappers uh, were in there? How many producers were in there? How yeah, many rappers. how it, many songs were recorded? It like, was a cock fest. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cock fest. But no, there were chicks. <laughs> there definitely were chicks. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, the thing, the thing about the thing about like 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 rap. This is another thing we need to get to, yeah. is female yes. rap in this country. I, but yeah. that's something had, for that's a, something I, for I them to discuss. A, an interview with the Ninja C. Yeah, and I said, hey, um, female rappers, and she's like, yeah, Keko, um, Saint C A. I said, yeah, that's cool, but. The yeah, now. Was, yeah. What about the now? What's happening now? Yeah. You know, and, and the person she mentioned is someone who's twelve years old. Uh, so you know, there's like a crazy, crazy gap. Age gap. Yeah, that has to be, you know. And Bridge, I mean, yeah. the person who's twelve, yeah, she gets busy, but then it's like, then, then, the the industry is the industry. Yeah. You know, your family will say, Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you find that, like, yeah, we have all of this. The truth is. The truth is, yeah. I'm not sure how many songs were recorded. Yeah. We, people were hungry. Are the songs finished, or is this a dream, Dreamville situation? <laughs> ah, the yeah. songs are finished. Where the songs are just the tracks are done. But the, the, the songs are finished. There was a track list made. Those songs are finished. Yeah. They're getting mixed and mastered and everything. But wait. like we said, he's a perfectionist. Yeah, yeah. But wait, 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 wait. Mm-hmm. There were two studios. I was yeah. in the studio. Yeah, there were two above the one up. That was you. Yeah, I was running the one up. K was running the one down. Yeah. And now, arts rappers would literally just make a line on the mic. I'm next. I've got next. Yeah. I've got next. There's no time to write. Yeah. Now you come with what you have. You spit. I've I've got next. The move. Yeah. Yeah. So the next. Next. Like that. I feel like I feel like you should have dropped that. All right. What we're going to do? We're going to have a quick two second, two minute break. (laughs) When you say you have. uh, a track list. You don't know how many songs. What is this? Is this going to be projects coming out? There was supposed to be a deluxe. There's a the official project. That I how many? How many? Project. How many songs do you think are for the? the project, are for the official. Uh, 20, <laughs> 21. 20, 2021, 20 or twenty one. About yeah. there. Ah, okay. yeah. We're on that Chris Brown type of. Yeah. yeah. Just hit the them with quantity. Yeah. The hybrid yeah. film. The rest was for the. Deluxe. We recorded so much that day. Yeah. So, okay. So you guys, you guys, uh, now tell me about the gang's music. You guys released a, a mixture called the tape. Yeah, the tape. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> the days are so dope. <laughs> you know, like there's some names when I hear them, I'm like, damn, Bataka Underground is such a dope name. I hated yeah. the fact that we had beef with them. End of the you week. Know, yeah, end of the week. Ah. Uh, these days, uh, Batamazi. These days are so dope to me. But so yeah, the gang, the tape. How many projects as the gang do you guys have? We have about three. Three. Three volumes, yeah. Three volumes of the tape. Mm-hmm. Well, three. Three. Two d- mixtapes. Okay. And, yeah. And tape, three. So, w- when you guys are record recording this stuff, yeah. Um, for us guys, our sessions were different, right? Yeah. Also, we would all have to be there at the same time. You guys, like now, if we're talking about the times now, it's different because. Yeah. You can email a thing, you can lace the thing at home. Are you guys in studio at the same time recording this project? Most, most yeah. of the time, yeah. Yeah. So tell me tell me about the projects. Like what is different from the first project to, to all the way to this last project? What, what's the difference in, in in the music, in the production, yeah. in the Mars and all this type of stuff? Subject matter? Experimental. 
that's the thing. Yeah. I think about the gang is that we try to go where we're not as comfortable. Yeah. For example, you know, we've, we've introduced ourselves as battle rappers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cavalli himself has always been a battle rapper. He's singing on every record. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. You get it. It, it, when he when he when he did when he did Joyride, when he did the tape, all this yeah. this is Cavalli out of his element. He's pushing boundaries. Mm-hmm. And you find it like, oh, I'm not comfortable with this, but I'm sure it will sound good. Let's try and make a banger out of it. Mm-hmm. Let's I have this. I've got this beat. I'm so this, that, 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 that. Yeah. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. So you'll find that the thing with the gang is always try to push the boundaries yeah. out of the comfort spot. Yeah. yeah into with your, new territory with your, with your solo stuff do whatever you want yeah. do whatever you want but as a, as a unit yeah we're gonna do something different yeah I, when it comes to the music I, I'm like the executive producer and I mm. the main thing I wanna see is go. Mm. Like, when it comes to your personal project do what you want that's you yeah. now when it comes to the guy we have to do something extremely new cause yeah. the fact is everyone there's plenty of rappers yeah Anybody can spit a 16. Yeah, yeah. But not yeah. everyone can make a, a song. Yeah, yeah, a yeah, full yeah song. That's yeah. different. That's a whole story to make that, a catch. That is, that is, that is myself in Twitter. Yeah. As a solo act, they don't disturb me. They know I'm yeah, going yeah. to ace it 100%. True. But with the click, with I, you know, you have someone like Navio who's great with the melodies and everything. Uh, Papito who's great with melodies and production. Yeah. So you learn this, but then JB. Who's just this young ah, energy? Jay and, then, and, then, and then Langman, who's very West Coast. Yeah. So you say, yo, if you add that, mm, 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 that just those strings there, it makes the song yeah. completely different. So myself, as a as a as a as an individual, yeah. I sit back and I'm like, okay, let me learn what he say, so I can try and apply it to my solo shit. Do you guys ever do that? Do you ever sit back and be like, yo, okay, what's he doing? And right, then with your solo stuff, you say, hey man. Yeah. With that, with that, uh, what you did with the strings, what you did with that melody, do you then try to add it to your, to your battle, yeah. battle projects? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to the guy, it's like a blank canvas. Yeah. That anything can throw paint at it yeah. and ho- yeah. defy the odds, make things work from mm. nowhere. Because everybody's different. Yeah. The background, the music, everyone is doing. Yeah. Yeah. So when it comes to the gang, we all try to make it all come together, mm. like pizza, like mash it up. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what's crazy? Cool. I thought, I thought, uh, what's his name? Ah, damn it. Zagazillion mm. yeah. was in the Zagan. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he would be a very great addition because, like, I mean, He's Double not. Entendre. <laughs> <That's what. laughs> Double Entendre would have been very, like, so yeah. the Zillions in the gang. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 bro. I honestly <laughs> thought it was in the gang. Ah. Uh, uh, no, no, really. so, so, how many. With with the gang, how many guys are in the click, and uh, and what are you guys? Okay, twenty twenty one, pretty much done. Yeah. What are you guys hoping to do for the next year for twenty twenty two? What's what's happening? What can we expect? This is a take four, I guess. Yeah. Was uh, every year we release a project, mm. both uh, personally as individual artists, yeah, and also as a group project. Yeah. Every year we try to stay consistent. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. But right now, what I can promise people is visuals. Visuals yeah, are coming yeah. through from the guy for the tape three. Yeah. yeah, keeping the movement going. Yeah. Yeah. And then for individuals, what are you, what are you, what are you guys doing individually? Uh, uh, next year, mm. January. Next yeah, year. There's a tape coming out, yeah, a project. An, an individual project? Yeah, my project. So, that project, tell me, tell me what, what that, I mean, if you can. A lot of people don't like to talk about their solo projects. <laughs> what can you tell me about that project? Who who are your features? Who are your producers? You as a producer, do yeah. you do your own? Yeah. Do you do your own production one hundred percent? Yes, one hundred percent. Oh, okay. So yeah. so what? Tell me about that project. Uh, it's mainly it's mainly obviously hip hop. Yeah, yeah. With with most of the gang members. Okay. And. I'm trying out some new melodies and stuff. Yeah. What, what, I, like, you know, um, and you say, like, with, with us, with us guys as, as individuals, like I said, we all know each other's, I mean, the groups, the group strength, and individually we know exactly what, what we're putting out. Um, I feel like with you individu- individually, you're a very emotional, 
Is that the word? The word? It it kind of is. It kind of is. Yeah, it kind of is. Basically, make the listener feel. So yeah. Yeah. I'm a buzz man. You buzz guy. Yeah, basically. Yeah, buzz in production. You never know what's coming. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You guys were talking earlier about purest energy. Tell me about Joyride. Ah, Joyride. Joyride. Joyride was levy. I'll be honest with you. I was, so you know how, like, when you see a rapper, you have another rapper they remind you of. Mm-hmm. Uh, levy has always been like my MF Doom. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. He's always been like my MF Doom. My, you know that that guy like. You hear him and you're like, oh, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> but, then, but then you you get into it, you get it, you get you get into it, and you're like, I, I rock with this. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense. So it's literally us just going to the studio and they're like, yo man, let's get this, and uh, beats flowing, whatever beats we could get our hands on, type beats, whatever yeah. beats we had, we're getting on. And the thing about battle rappers is, you always start out and you cannot do a hook at all. <laughs> so we have. We have Cavalli doing some of the hooks. Yeah. I think I'd say most of the hooks. <laughs> yeah, most, most of the hooks. hooks. <laughs> Don't say apart yeah, apart say apart apart, apart from apart from what? Uh Sanjes. People yeah. talk about ah Sanjes. Sanjes. So Sanjes is me trying to get into my singing element. Yeah. When I tell people that like with me, I'm a very lyrical rapper. Yeah. But I like to sing. Yeah, and uh, I like. I always said like it's lo- people are lucky I can't sing at all. <laughs> yeah, <'Cause laughs> like, every song was just me being just ex- fast. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you find you find you'd find like like Sanchez is me getting into like oh I can sing. Yeah. I just need to work on my vocals here there and so on. Yeah. So Joyride was me and Levy. Yeah. And we all, all produced by. But yeah. Levy and Cavalli. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you'll find that with uh, my solo project, yeah. you'll never know when it's coming. I don't have like a timeline I set for myself. I like yeah. to be comfortable as an artist. I like to just yeah, make no, art. Yeah, exactly. So you get it. So <laughs> I, like to be ju- I just like to be comfortable as an artist. No, that's like cheating. <laughs> you, I have to set a debt. You, you absolutely have to. <laughs> you, know, you know why? Because it's like. It, it, it's just cheating. It's like yeah. you become lazy. You, you, you're not dedicated. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah, you have to, yeah. you have to dedicate to the crap. To, yeah. to the, like I'm going to dedicate, first of all, my all my energy to the project. Yeah. So I get that date and I work towards. It. It's like getting married. It's like just everything. Yeah. You're a medical student. Everything you have. You, you have to have a deadline. It. So maybe because of the medicine, you're like ah, you too many deadlines. Most so, likely, yeah. You know, but you gotta. I should set one. I should set one. I should set one. Tell the people, you know, tweet a date out. You know, that's how we do it these days. Just set an anonymous date. Yeah. Put it there and then like, watch out. Yeah, yeah. I don't do that. I say, I say a month. I say September. Because yeah. I'm a September baby. So yeah. I just say September. Yeah. So guys know September something is coming. Yeah, definitely. So I, sh- I should I should set a date. But definitely I've been on, um, I've been working on a lot of things. Yeah. You're definitely going to hear a lot of singing coming from me. A lot of feature projects, I'm on, and so on. But I'm around. Maybe you go say so. Yeah, like earlier you said, uh, rappers plan yeah. during which quarter they should come in. Yeah. Personally, I prefer the first quarter. You want to set it off? Yeah, set it first off. First quarter is hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> J. Cole, J. Cole dropped like an album so dope, but then people are like, ah, but this is really dope. <laughs> first quarter is hard. They're waiting on Kendrick yeah. Lamar. <laughs> yeah. They're like, is Kendrick That's going to drop it? It's hard, to, to get people's attention, you're the one, you know, one who opens the gate and says, guys, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to make sure you're shooting at Steph Curry level. Yeah. <laughs> Swish. Yeah, Zagang is here to open doors. So. There you go. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to ask you about um, drunk intelligence, but also still waters run deep. Yeah. Two completely different names. <laughs> <laughs> completely different names. Um, but then it's the same. Same. What, what, what's the year between uh, the, the the project? Uh, uh, Drunk Intelligence was in twenty nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. 
this is this year. This is so. How is how is that like? I mean, drunk intelligence. How is that uh, progression? How do you how do you work that? Yeah. You know, like <laughs> how yeah, does that like, happen? Um, uh, the first thing I did was social intro. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, when you said I'm an emotional rapper, Loki. Most of them. Yeah. A bit. How can I say? I am emotional at the same time. I'm also a bit not so emotional we, completely. Yeah. Sometimes completely cold. So sometimes I really just <clears throat> want to merge, merge the two together yeah. and get everything straight. But now, like, uh, Drunk Intelligence, that came around the time I was going through a few things. Mm-hmm. I was going through a few things. The bitter became sweet. A little bit The, the, inter- the interview <laughs> for that <laughs> album was a mashup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there was that whole phase. Yeah. And I was, yeah. I decided to turn that into art still. By yeah. way of expressing myself. Yeah. And yeah, that's how that happened. So what, what what then do you go through for you to go from there to still water John D? I mean even the, the artwork on that thing, I was like, mm. I don't even know how it came to my time and I saw it, I was like, this nigga is going through it. When it comes to still water John D actually it's different. If you like progress and like listen to my music from the first to the last, you yeah. can see the change, you can feel the growth, you can yeah. feel that I'm not the same person still. Yeah. Because when it comes to still waters run deep, yeah. it's more of like a compilation than like a, a, a cohesive yeah, body of yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, it's more like a compilation. Yeah. Because yeah, right now, uh, what can I say? I'm a bit more open to stuff. Yeah. Compared to back then, mm-hmm. so even when it comes to the production, to the lyrics, to the I merge. Have you had a song called "Take You There"? Mm-hmm. I listen, I listen. I could yeah. take you there if you want to. Will, yes. yes. Everything is like a different vibe, a different feeling. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I wanted it to be. Okay, so now I have to talk about it. Yeah. But don't bother me. So. <laughs> ah, yeah. That's the one. Yeah, I was feeling like that's, that too. That's the yeah. one. <laughs> you, said, you said in that video I talked about earlier, you talked about um, the UK grind. And that's very heavily influenced by that. It's yeah, very it is. grind, it's very drill. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, so who who are you listening to that inspires that? That 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 inspires you to tap into that sound. Mm. But then also who are you, who's pissing you off yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to make you tap into that energy? Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to the sound, yeah, UK I have a few few people there who keep sending me stuff. I send yeah. them stuff and uh, the Reception that side when they hear my music, they yeah they like it because it's not like I'm copying them. Yeah, yeah, you yes. do. You, you do. Yeah, I'm you, doing you, right yeah, yeah, yeah. You're inspired by them. Yeah. You're being respectful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they like it, and when it comes to energy, that's just it. who who, who <laughs> puts the man off. He's, uh, he's trying to be polite. He's calling himself a king, and he's so, trying to be polite. So, yeah. so the thing about Cavalli is, huh? <laughs> he's trying to be polite. He's, the thing is, he's trying to be polite. He looks calm. <laughs> oh my god! Even when you talk to him, is yeah. yeah. I feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still yeah. Still yeah. No, he, he, he. You know what it is? We we'll always say this. He's he. Uh, he has the radio voice on for the ladies. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that, that guy there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hear hearing the, I hearing the rest. I <laughs> hearing the rest. But, but don't bother me was for the rap. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't want someone to listen to my EP and hear a song like uh, "Take You There" and think that that's what you want. And, and forget that I do. You this. get busy. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So that's a reminder. There's a thing about battle rappers. Once in a while, we'll remind you. Yeah. Like I'm singing, but bro, have I you had this buzz? I give her love. <laughs> the I'm sorry, G, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Bring it right back. <laughs> like like I, I was singing here, but. Uh, don't I forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 what next for the gang? Like, um, he he said he's coming. He's coming January. January. Yeah. Um, what's the name of that project? Yeah. Azul. Azul in Spanish. What does that mean? Azul. Blue. Blue. Why? Azul. 
Right. Why are you? <laughs> he, didn't pr- he, didn't, he didn't pronounce it right. Azul. Why? Why? Why blue? Because sometimes uh, melodic blue just re- yeah, 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 melodic blue. But just to convey that emotion of feeling blue. This is his first thing that he's using emotions to write. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ah, you. you. You guys. You guys. Uh, I, I noticed that the new, the the younger guys. Uh, very in tune with those emotions because for us it's just like yeah, yo fuck yeah. that yeah. I'm rapping but yeah I yeah, I might have a lady I might talk about her yeah. but I'm not going to get myself there but then also uh, a lot of guys because that's the that's the thing it's yeah. like a lot of guys are taking it <laughs> say that. right because everyone is like oh so the thing is to be in touch with your emotions okay so sad. <laughs> <laughs> drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, they are ruling it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it's it's a lot of that that happens. Like, so if I'm listening to Blue, um, am I going to get uh, you talking about your life story because you emotions, right? Yeah. I have to. Am I getting your story or am I getting a generic a generic story? What, what is happening on blue? You're getting, uh, I'd say, uh, you're getting vibes at the same time. What emotions are we getting? Are we getting yeah. your emotions? Yes. Or are we getting generic emotions? You're it's getting my emotions. You hear it in his production. In the production. Yeah. 100%. You're getting, yeah, my emotions and yeah. laced with violin samples. I always, you know how guys always send me a beat, it doesn't work. They said the same beat with violins. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they got me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do we have from you? Yeah, nothing. But I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll release a producer's EP. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean stars. Yeah, yeah stars. stars is just out. Like, yeah, no, I'll tell you like, <laughs> next year. Because nah, you guys every, said every year you do something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, production-wise. I'll yeah. be... Like on yeah. the production, okay. But there'll be other artists, but it's mine. Like, I okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be my thing. like a producer, producer a producer, e- yeah, 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 producer. Any too. bangers too. Yeah, that's what you should expect. Mion man. What are we getting from? <laughs> Who me? What are we getting from you? We, we asked you. You said I don't have to a date. <laughs> now we're asking for 2022. Are you yeah. dropping anything or are you? Pretending? 2022. I will. You will drop. You will Definitely. What? You will what? JOK, the journey of Kingi. It's been in the works. By the way, I've been working on this. I have the songs written down. Can I tell you? He's excited. Like when you said that, he was like... So that means he wants it, but you're, you're slacking. No, I'm, I'm, not even, I'm, not, I'm, not even, I'm not even playing games. I am not even playing games. 2022. He said you're 2022. He said you're chilling. 2022. For real. I got you. Are you convincing him? I got you. Do you, be- do you believe in pinky swears? <laughs> <laughs> I got pinky swear on this shit. It's not like pinky swearing. pinky <laughs> swear. <laughs> so, so this drops next year or what? Uh, so he has first quarter. Is it second yeah. or third or fourth? Third. Third quarter. Third. And That's September. Definitely. Okay, we'll be... We'll be Me and you. All right, we'll see what's going on. <laughs> What's going on? I think the next thing for me is album because I yeah. think as a gang I have the most projects out. Yeah. And for me, I wanted my name out there before I could say I'm dropping an album. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to get the tapes out, the EP to get my sound, everything. Yeah. So the next thing for me is album. So when? When? I don't want to lie and say next year because it could be the year after that. Because you said you guys drop collectively. Yeah, collectively and individually still. Yeah, individually. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Collectively, Zagan definitely next year. Yeah. So yes, so now yeah, Zagan definitely yeah. another 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 tape. Yeah. It's a tape. Yeah. So is this is this is this four volume four? Volume four. So yeah. the tapes are always going to be the tape. The tape. Yeah. This. And then Joyride too, if you're lucky. Yeah, if you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> no, you have to decide. You. What are you Stop dropping? playing around. <laughs> what are you dropping? Is it what kill me for no Joyride two? Joy <laughs> so Joyride two and then the album. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then JOK. Yep. So you're dropping twice. Yep. Year. Well, thrice with the group. Yep. 
Hey, guys, this is yo, Mark. This is the moment where this this thing what he just said, we chop it and make it a short clip, and we post it every time he talks shit. <laughs> Every time the man talks shit. <laughs> like, where is the album? Where is, yeah. Where is, where where is, is the, the tip? Where is the three project? Where is the project? So, so now, um, the gang, what do you have to say? What are you, what are you hoping for? What is the future? What, what does the future look like? Like, leave the solo projects. What does the future look like for you guys? Are you, are you hoping to, to get that management that accepts what you, what your brand is? Or are you saying, fuck it, we're, we're going as is. Don't figure it out. Yeah, I'm going as this. Yeah, don't figure it out. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Introduce yourselves one last time. Introduce the whole clique yeah. before we sign up. Hi, Cavani King, founder of the gang, producer, rap artist. Yeah, representing. Me and man in it. Uh, producer, rap artist, ETC. <laughs> Levi, aka Diablo on Twitter, so. Yeah. Jesse Kingy, med student, really cyst, rapper. Introduce the rest of the team. The gang, of no, course. The guys. This guy's all over here. Yeah? Ah, please. Yeah. We're here with Tiger Management. The big man over there. Yeah. Complex, the rapper. Who is the hardest yeah. guy? <laughs> That's over. That's him over there. Under, yeah. underdog until under God. Yeah. Right, it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Just <laughs> reintroduce the guy. Complex. Complex the rapper and tame and the dog coming. So. Ratted! Yeah, come on, come on. Let's go. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm ready, guys. Thank you all for tuning. So, UG Podcast, the myth. We're out. Peace, love. The way I talk, so UG. From my head to my feet, so UG. What you get is what you see, so UG.